when you are building a new project or there is some modification in the existing plan there is always some changes that happens in the human machine interface and there are always some confusion about how many consoles are required how the console should be designed what should be the interface look like and there are so many debates and discussion that goes on around it do you know that there is a international standards that provides you guideline which respect to hmi design in this particular lecture we will be discussing about that particular standard and how that particular standard provides you guideline about hmi design so the standard i was talking about is isa 101 this is the standards and it provides you guideline about hmi life cycle so it has defined the life cycle into three different phases design implement and operate and provides guideline for each of the section design section implement section and operate section and there are set of system standards that needs to be developed so that the same standard can be followed for all three phases of the life cycle in this all three life cycle there are three things that are common which are moc audit and validation these three things come can come any time between these life cycles now what is system standard system standard as per iec isa 101 consists of three different things one is hmi philosophy another is hmi style guide and third is hmi toolkit development now hmi philosophy is providing guiding principle and conceptual foundation hmi style guide is the implementation examples with respect to the hmi philosophy and toolkit development is basically generating the graphical symbol for the style guide now in the design phase there are multiple things that needs to be designed one is console design and there is hmi design third is user stack design and fourth is display design so there are certain guidelines that have been provided in the isa 101 for each of this section with respect to the console design there are two major things one is operator micro environment and another is number of console operator micro environment means the local environment console furniture and related console equipments and another part of the console design is how many consoles are required what will be the size of the monitor whether it will be double stack or single stack all these things are discussed in the console design and isa 101 refers to another internal standard that is iso 11064 into the console design section so hope you have got some idea where or which international standard to look for while you are designing the console let me know if you need more information about this international standards thank you